In 1990, a group of concerned Nigerians organized a brainstorming session in order to identify an all-encompassing remedy that will address the crisis of unjustified military domination and its resultant effects into varying forms of crisis. The concerted efforts of these concerned Nigerians led to the formation and registration of Crisis Control Foundation by the Corporate Affairs Commission of the Federal Republic of Nigeria on 30th May 1997. to commemorate the passing out ceremony and show that Krykov is now fully anchored in Lagos. The national president raised the foundation's flag. Arise, O Compound Trust, Nigeria, swallow to serve our Father's Dr. Eze Atakulu Osakwe, E.C. Kingsley, Ogwagundigo, who is the National President and Commandant General of Krykov, reminded the first ever group of newly commissioned officers in Lagos that it is their duty to fight against corruption in various areas of the community, such as malpractices in law enforcement agencies, corrupt practices within government parastatals and the private sector, as well as illegal activities among leaders and individuals in their respective neighborhoods. Yes, sir. We ought to know this now. For those of you who have been invited here to witness this occasion, to know that the word crisis means only problems, human problems. And this foundation came into being in 1995 during Abacha's regime when the crisis of military domination was at its top peak. And gentlemen like me and others brainstormed to know the way out. And the way out resulted into being registered and empowered by Corporate Affairs Commission of Nigeria with a certificate dated 30 May 1997. So we are advancing to our 15 years old of being legally an instituted authorized body. Therefore, anybody who feels we are not legitimate can challenge us wherever and we will be there to see. We will also be there. It is based on this legality that we are issued a certificate by ICPC. That is Independent Corrupt Practices and Violated Offenses Commission of Nigeria. As a member of the National Anti-Corruption Coalition, that has empowered us to be among the vanguards of those who checkmate corruption, be it in the law enforcement agency sectors, being in the private sectors and entrepreneurs in parasitizers and ministries. Anywhere we see any corrupt act will go straight down for a fight. We are not afraid to die because the virus has eaten deep into all of us. And there will be no reasonable progress, no reasonable democracy. Nothing can work if this canker worm is still allowed to eat deep into us. Corruption is the fight for everybody. And you can find even corruption on the table of a woman that sells tomatoes in the market. Because this woman will now use rotten ones on that and put a fine one on top to cheat you. You find corruption also in the toolbox of mechanics. You will lose your real spare parts and put it there and sell it to another person. So it is even in your families. 
So it is in the schools you attend, in your place of work. And therefore, crisis control provision declared war on that counter war, the virus called corruption. Corruption also has these precipitations, which has narrowed into all societal areas for which we talk about. One of them is human rights. People abuse people's rights. Defend them on civil matters. Seek for money for bail. Seek for every form of things to intimidate them. The judiciary also is in problem. Everywhere we have problem. Even in electioneering, problems are there, nothing goes well. And we're saying we want people of keen mind. Those who want to know that we are here or not on a temporary basis. None of us will be here. All of us say nobody will be here in the next 150 years. If ever we live up to that. Then what is the whole Apollo? That you must grab everything which will make the, the, the next generation to enjoy you. And this is why we are saying that if we want to make progress, this must be the job of every Nigerian. We don't want to know whether you're a crook. A crook can change. An arm robber can change. And you cannot change what you cannot reach. It's only something you can touch, can you cleanse. And that is why today, we want to commission some people, empower them into this work. The ceremony is not to see how beautiful they look, how tall they are, and whatever it is. The ceremony is just to empower them with certificates for those who will receive the certificates today, and also those who will receive later. It does not require acrobatism. It is something new. All of us pray, but today, this foundation is bringing something new. Make your prayer a work for heaven help those who help themselves so that the Lord will bless the works of your hands. We are not religious, non political. We are workaholics. We are in the field working. And we are inviting all of you to please join hands with those that are in this local government. Mobilize yourselves so that we will give you seminars. We we'll give you lectures, we we'll tell you what your rights are, we we'll give you the, the limits of any law enforcement agency, be it the customs, be it immigration, be it the police, be it the army. Because an illiterate person is not the person who doesn't know how to read and write. After all, a Russian can write English or read it, so the French. But an educated man is he who is well informed. So that he has the possibility of knowing what to do at the right time and at the right place. That is the job of this foundation, to bring enlightenment to people and at the same time checkmate it. Nigeria has been talking and talking and talking and talking, no checkmate. We want to teach you how you can even checkmate your son. Your son will checkmate you. You checkmate your neighborhood. Your neighborhood will checkmate the traditional ruler. It was not all of you will check back the government. The government now will check back itself. That is the push. That is the role we've declared. A civil war. For a change. Rebranding of Nigeria. That is what is called by the, His Excellency, Good Lord Jonathan. He says it is to rebrand Nigeria. It is a rebranding I'm talking about. So that all of you, I call you to wake up. Wake up today, ladies and gentlemen. So that you have an imprint on the soil, which will be re re remembered by your, for, for, for your future children. These children will come. Make a history. Don't think about only the number of upstairs and buildings you have made. The beautiful cars you use. These are temporary things. It will vanish. It has no value. It is transcendent. It is material. The value you have is the inner integrity. What you carry within you is what you go with. And the others, the prestige, the good name, will flow down to your, to your children. And the children will now use it to grow and also find a better life and leave a legacy also behind.
admonish you to please work hard, to please your mind. Do not generate ugly thoughts for your fellow human beings. Stop speaking evil of your fellow human beings. Stop acting in an evil way against your fellow human being. I asked the press some few days ago, each president that comes to Nigeria, Nigerians will criticize him. Have we ever praised one? That is the problem. Because if you praise one, he will do better. But if you don't, you are building up ugly platforms that will affect generations to come. Keep the heart of your thoughts pure, for in doing so you will not have problems. Keep your words pure, for in doing so you will not have problems. Keep your actions pure, for in doing so you will not have problems. And I'm a symbol of that. If you hear that I have duped anybody's feet on me, if you hear that I'm pursuing anybody's wife or child's feet on me, if you hear that I carry cocaine, throw me into the lake. If you hear any evil I do, throw me into the lake. This is a new brand of church, if it is what you want to hear. A church that is in activity. A church that brings not what it preaches only in the mouth, on the lips, but in action. Change that what it means to rebrand. Change the society. And ladies and gentlemen, because today is not a speech day, I would like to stop so far. But I will invite His Royal Majesty, who is a traditional ruler in our midst. I don't know how many other traditional rulers here. And who is also championing the cause of this rebranding. Maybe he may have a few words to give you, and you may also benefit from that. I thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. You'll be as need to speak again, I will. <laughs> Sir, Royal Majesty, please. Thank you. 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 Why not you leave your palace and come to the north? I told him to eat to seek your mind. Eat to brush your mind. Eat to polish your mind. That's the reason why I am here. And that's the reason why I should go into any other hamlet. I will go into any other local government to make sure that this sermon goes to the news. And enemies of this country. By cause, lion, lion, action. Name is okay. His Royal Majesty, as a, why do you like call me over because I am in Yoruba land? Or if I am in the north, call me an MA. It is the equivalent of those two. And of course, I'm educated. I have two, three degrees behind me. It is not money. It is value. You are talking about value. I am the sole administrator of Crisis Control Foundation with corporate headquarters at also the president of Team of Leadership. I thank all of you. It is my privilege to be present here, to be a witness to the inauguration ceremony of very young people who want to fight this war with me. My advice to you is that you are going to pick up a two-edged sword. You can cut left, you can cut right. Or remember, whichever, whichever side it cuts, you are sowing on whatever you sow, you reap. I wish you all thank you very much. So you have still work to do. Crisis Control Foundation is new, completely new. 
something that is now to be anchored is all of the old. You cannot take an old wine into the new bottle. It won't work. Let army remain the army. Let the police remain police. Be now crisis managers. Therefore, stop imitation. Imitation is a disease. Be yourselves. Become lions, I demand of you. If you feel you want to be a lion, then you have to belong to a crisis action control squad. I'm not saying crisis control foundation. I'm saying crisis action control squad the cats in the manner in which Corporate Affairs, Corporation of the Corporate Affairs of Nigeria incorporated the Board of Trustees to guide you and form you. You are formed under that power and also the recognition through the activities we've been doing we receive from the Ministry for Police Affairs, the certificate we've gotten from Independent Corrupt Practices and Other Related Offenses Commission, ICPC, from guidance and directives and recognitions we've gotten from the Honorable Senate President David Mack, from that which we enjoy today, from past IGs and the present, that which we enjoy today from all commissioners of police of goodwill, and you being a Nigerian with full figure, with good mind to cleanse the society, you have assembled before me to be empowered. It is that empowerment you call commissioning. Some people say commission, they don't know what it means. The commission means you are empowered by law. Not by the way you have demonstrated your parading, no. But for the action you have to do in checkmating societal ills. Whether you know it or not, that I do not know. So today you are entering the school of learning. Parading is over for you. Do not enter the school from today. The commissioning is the entry into the school of learning of what human problems are, how they come, how they can be managed so that it will not bring about crisis. Therefore, by the powers I've spoken about here which are before me, and in due respect to the sole administrator and the chairman of the National Executive Council, His Royal Majesty, is the UUOK. On behalf of the sole administrator of the Northern Zone, Alaji Musu Saleh, and on behalf of the Southwest Zonal Administrator, Mr. John Olaya, and on behalf of that of the South South, retired Major Eka Aka, announce before you the acceptance to commission you today and therefore declare that you are commissioned. Clap for yourselves. There may be later on other closed door confabulations to guide you into the new class. Or the class starts today. Maybe during that time you will also receive your certificates. But there are those also who will come after you now. They have already been commissioned but could not receive their certificates. And I also would like to show you how the certificate to be issued will look like. Just by demonstrating also with the people to be that has been commissioned. So that you also see that the word pronounced is a word that is not anchored. Therefore, for any well-informed man should know that the anchorage is the most important. If you walk along the road now and say you are commissioned, and somebody say, what is the proof? You say, oh no, that day at uh, Lake Key or Lake Beach or whatever, you marched and it was announced. Sorry, you have failed. You are not commissioned. By law, the court needs tangible evidence for you to win your case. 
it is that tangible evidence that we are looking forward to do in what I have called confabulation. But I would like to match out those who are today to receive certificates, pending also the others. Let me show them how it looks like. This is a, a beautifully made emblem, which is not meant for your cupboard or your briefcase, too heavy for your briefcase. It is to hang on the wall of your office or your sitting room, what will you call living room. So that one who enters your room or your office will know the power that you possess. And so I will ask them to call out those who will now come and receive these certificates before we retire to another agenda. Thank you. His Royal Majesty is a UUK Chairman Zona Executive John Olaya Retired Major Ikamo Major Ikamo Doka Senkanyamo Abubaka Shehu Tatatu Today, it has been announced that you are cleansed from corruption, having taken the vow to checkmate all corrupt practices, be it in any law enforcement agency sector, any government parastatal, any private sector, and around individuals. Become lion, as from today, I demand from you that today is a fiat that you have to serve humanity in all sense of sincerity, honesty, and dedication. May God help all of you. Amen. Yes, sir. We ought to know this now. Everybody rises for gold. Every team. We will fight your fight and then give you victory. So rises for In Crycuff, our work requires the continued support of the Inspector General of Police, Heads of Customs Service, Immigration Service, Ministry for Police Affairs, Senate Committee on Police Affairs, the Police Service Commission, Federal and State Attorneys General, the Presidency, Public Complaints Commission, the Secretary of State, Head of Civil Service, the National Human Rights Commission, National Orientation Agency, National Legal Aids Council, stakeholders in security, and most of all, public sector entrepreneurs and reputable individuals. Based on the research carried out, Krykov has been able to unravel the causes of the current decay in social norms and values. Commercializing of religious worship is one major challenge in which a larger part of the populace has been brainwashed by many clerics to attach monetary value to religious worship. This false orientation can be corrected by creating an umbrella body that will exercise control to prevent the use of religious organizations as a tool for achieving political ambition and other selfish motives. Christian, Muslim and other religious associations and groups already constituted to serve a similar purpose cannot achieve this. Having separate associations or governing bodies that will check the activities of each religious group in the country has metamorphosed into disagreement and hatred among citizens. Disgruntled no. 
disgruntled and unsuccessful politicians capitalize on these weak points in the society to incite the masses and stir up civil unrest. In recent times, terrorist attacks have not only entered into the shores of Nigeria, they are fast becoming conventional activities. These desperate attacks are outcomes of wars fought within Islamic countries. All of these we have documented in our journal titled The World at War, which has been sent to all diplomatic missions in Nigeria and are still available. Unfortunately, our panacea has fallen on deaf ears. Tackling insecurity in Nigeria is the way forward. In Nigeria's political history, the present government deserves the loudest applause and highest recognition for its drive towards achieving a safe and secure Nigeria. In this regard, Krykov has so much to contribute as crisis managers. From our point of view, complementing of government's efforts requires an approach that is simplistic in nature. Many proverbs underscore how great things can be achieved using simple methods. One such proverb says, small actions bring about great effects, while another notes that true greatness lies in simple things. It is with this simplistic approach that Krykov achieves its focus-driven initiative. The initiative focuses on the realization that insecurity is an outcome of false doctrine. This social disease is spreading fast, eating into the psyche of many more people whose numbers grow every day into a larger army of misled and dangerous individuals. The suicidal acts of terrorism, criminal acts of robbery and kidnapping and other clandestine activities are all products of greed and the get-rich-quick syndrome which promotes corruption. As noted earlier, the most dangerous orientation is that which comes from misguided lay preachers or religious charlatans who dominate Nigeria and the world today. Religion is no more a way of life. No one strives to live a Christ-like life or emulate the true teachings of Muhammad, or follow the core tenets laid down by other spiritual leaders for reasons that are quite obvious and which are stated in another of Krykov's published works titled, The Crisis is Religious. Religious charlatans preach that God forgives sins without requiring restitution from wrongdoers. They ignore the word spoken by Jesus Christ in which he said, What a man sows, that shall he reap. Religious charlatans pray for the work of kidnappers, terrorists, armed robbers, fraudsters, and many other people who do evil. Those who succeed among these evildoers fund the religious establishments of the religious charlatans. Rather than preach the truth, converts are encouraged to continue doing evil until they are rich enough materially to declare their sins, receive automatic forgiveness, and a special place in paradise. What deceit! It applies to Muslims, Christians, and people of other religions who see others as infidels that can be murdered to gain a place in paradise. How truly misleading. These dogmas and commercialized doctrines are now tools used by failed politicians and those leaders intoxicated with power to promote the get-rich-quick mentality among Nigerians. It is a virus that has eaten deep into families and homes endorsing money as a yardstick for measuring value and integrity. But the way out is simple. First, 
reawakening ecumenical ideologies. Second, promoting practical religion. Third, putting false doctrines in check. Fourth, stopping more division by prohibiting further registration of religious establishments. Fifth, reorientation of the people to restore calm and good conscience. Sixth, effectual and fervent prayers coupled with sincere works. The observations made here by Krykov identify the root of all vices as being the commercializing of religious worship. It has also been properly packaged and published for delivery to interested persons, groups, institutions, etc. on request.
Strike of ongoing projects are tools for effecting change. 1. LGA orientation and public complaints bureaus. We have established many offices within local government areas across the country through which we have been able to connect with the people's needs. These bureaus have also made it possible for us to fashion out a remedy that will create the necessary change in the society by means of direct counseling and practical assistance, especially in relation to human rights abuse, monetary extortion, and other corruption-motivated activities carried out by law enforcement agencies and in other sectors. Our success here has attracted many Nigerians who have chosen to go through our training and become Krikov members to fight the ills of society. Krikov requires the assistance of federal government in this regard in order to complement the good work of National Orientation Commission and the Presidency's Public Complaints Commission and other agencies. <laughs> Two, Krikov members have sponsored four separate transmissions of our messages on the Nigerian Television Authority, NTA. We have also distributed flyers journals and magazines which resulted in many more people signing up for training under this project. Our publicity focus hinges on our mind transforming slogan, you can't change what you can't reach. With this, we have been able to keep in touch with the masses who are responding positively by joining the campaign against corrupt practices and other societal ills. <laughs> Consequently, we again solicit federal government's contributions to reach more Nigerians using the print and electronic media. Francis. Three, reforming inmates in Nigerian prisons. Krikov's outreach for prison inmates incarcerated in different parts of the country has been yielding positive results. The major hindrance encountered in this work is denial of access to police cells. This is in spite of several requests made to previous and present inspectors general of police. Federal government's directive along the lines of gaining access to these places of confinement that have now become torture chambers is highly needed. Our application to National Human Rights Commission on this subject remains comatose till date. Four, although Krikov enjoys the support of the Nigeria Police Force headquarters, yet Members of the foundation face various threats as they work within different states in the country. This propelled Krikov to write officially to the Inspector General of Police requesting a letter of recognition which can be presented to every level of jurisdiction in the Nigeria Police being another area inflicted with the popular get-rich-quick virus within the society. Several meetings were convened by two previous inspectors general of police and also by the incumbent, who is the most forthcoming and obliging of his colleagues. He is yet to endorse the recommendation of the force headquarters. We require clarity from the federal government on receiving this police recognition as police personnel of lower rank molest intimidate our people and abuse our rights to serve, given the excuse that the police is not aware of Krikov's existence and therefore we are an illegal body, even with our certificate of incorporation from the Corporate Affairs Commission, ICPC Coalition Certificate, 
and letter from the Ministry for Police Affairs. As far as the lower cadres of police personnel are concerned, only letters from the Inspector General of Police is regarded as genuine. This is the reason we are seeking the support and protection of the federal government and directives from the Inspector General of Police. It is worthy to note that the eradication of corruption, which is at the core of all societal ills, is no easy fit. Different cadres of law enforcement and state task forces personnel abuse the right of Nigerians by intimidating and collecting bribe from them. These corrupt practices can be observed in broad daylight if one takes a drive or walk along the highways, roads and streets en route to the Immigration and Customs Service offices or one visits some of the offices within government ministries and parastatals. These sins are horrifying for a foreigner or any civilized person. This open show of corrupt practices can be stopped with the help of government authorized, qualified and recommended NGOs like us who will work with the federal and state governments to put the situation under check. To do this peacefully, we have already trained some Nigerians, while others are undergoing training and recruitment is in progress. We request the federal government provide special report desks and a unique court that will handle our streamlined control exercise towards enhancing quick dispensation of justice. We request that the federal government provides special report desks and a unique court that will handle our streamlined control exercise towards enhancing quick dispensation of justice. With this in place, the struggle against corruption and other societal ills will record higher levels of success, which will be an added plus for Dr. Goodluck, Abele, Azikwe, Jonathan's administration. Putting societal ills in check. In Krykov, our work requires the continued support of the Inspector General of Police, Heads of Customs Service, Immigration Service, Ministry for Police Affairs, Senate Committee on Police Affairs, the Police Service Commission, Federal and State Attorneys General, the Presidency, Public Complaints Commission, the Secretary of State, Head of Civil Service, the National Human Rights Commission, National Orientation Agency, National Legal Aids Council, stakeholders in security, and most of all, public sector entrepreneurs and reputable individuals. Based on the research carried out, Krykov has been able to unravel the causes of the current decay in social norms and values. Commercializing of religious worship is one major challenge in which a larger part of the populace has been brainwashed by many clerics to attach monetary value to religious worship. This false orientation can be corrected by creating an umbrella body that will exercise control to prevent the use of religious organizations as a tool for achieving political ambition and other selfish motives. Christian, Muslim, and other religious associations and groups already constituted to serve a similar purpose cannot achieve this. Having separate associations or governing bodies that will check the activities of each religious group in the country has metamorphosed into disagreement and hatred among citizens. 
disgruntled and unsuccessful politicians capitalize on these weak points in the society to incite the masses and stir up civil unrest. In recent times, terrorist attacks have not only entered into the shores of Nigeria, they are fast becoming conventional activities. These desperate attacks are outcomes of wars fought within Islamic countries. All of these we have documented in our journal titled The World at War, which has been sent to all diplomatic missions in Nigeria and are still available. Unfortunately, our panacea has fallen on deaf ears. Tackling insecurity in Nigeria is the way forward. In Nigeria's political the present government deserves the loudest applause and highest recognition for its drive towards achieving a safe and secure Nigeria. In this regard, Krykov has so much to contribute as crisis managers. From our point of view, complementing of government's efforts requires an approach that is simplistic in nature. Many proverbs underscore how great things can be achieved using simple methods. One such proverb says, small actions bring about great effects, while another notes that true greatness lies in simple things. It is with this simplistic approach that Krykov achieves its focus-driven initiative. The initiative focuses on the realization that insecurity is an outcome of false doctrine. This social disease is spreading fast, eating into the psyche of many more people whose numbers grow every day into a larger army of misled and dangerous individuals. The societal acts of terrorism, criminal acts of robbery and kidnapping and other clandestine activities are all products of greed and the get-rich-quick syndrome which promotes corruption. As noted earlier, the most dangerous orientation is that which comes from misguided lay preachers or religious charlatans who dominate Nigeria and the world today. Religion is no more a way of life. No one strives to live a Christ-like life or emulate the true teachings of Muhammad or follow the core tenets laid down by other spiritual leaders for reasons that are quite obvious and which are stated in another of Krykov's published works titled The Crisis is Religious. Religious charlatans preach that God forgives sins without requiring restitution from wrongdoers. They ignore the word spoken by Jesus Christ in which he said, What a man sows, that shall he reap. Religious charlatans pray for the work of kidnappers, terrorists, armed robbers, fraudsters, and many other people who do evil. Those who succeed among these evildoers fund the religious establishments of the religious charlatans. Rather than preach the truth, converts are encouraged to continue doing evil until they are rich enough materially to declare their sins, receive automatic forgiveness, and a special place in paradise. What deceit! It applies to Muslims, Christians, and people of other religions who see others as infidels that can be murdered to gain a place in paradise. How truly misleading. These dogmas and commercialized doctrines are now tools used by failed politicians and those leaders intoxicated with power to promote the get-rich-quick mentality among Nigerians. It is a virus that has eaten deep into families and homes, endorsing money 
as a yardstick for measuring value and integrity. But the way out is simple. First, reawakening ecumenical ideologies. Second, promoting practical religion. Third, putting false doctrines in check. Fourth, stopping more division by prohibiting further registration of religious establishments. Fifth, reorientation of the people to restore calm and good conscience. Sixth, effectual and fervent prayers coupled with sincere works. The observations made here by Krykov identify the root of all vices as being the commercializing of religious worship. It has also been properly packaged and published for delivery to interested persons, groups, institutions, etc. on request. Krykov ongoing projects are tools for effecting change. 1. LGA orientation and public complaints bureaus. We have established many offices within local government areas across the country through which we have been able to connect with the people's needs. These bureaus have also made it possible for us to fashion out a remedy that will create the necessary change in the society by means of direct counseling and practical assistance, especially in relation to human rights abuse, monetary extortion, and other corruption-motivated activities carried out by law enforcement agencies and in other sectors. Our success here has attracted many Nigerians who have chosen to go through our training and become Krykov members to fight the ills of society. Krykov requires the assistance of federal government in this regard in order to complement the good work of National Orientation Commission and the Presidency's Public Complaints Commission and other agencies. Two, Krykov members have sponsored four separate transmissions of our messages on the Nigerian Television Authority, NTA. We have also distributed flyers, journals, and magazines, which resulted in many more people signing up for training under this project. Our publicity focus hinges on our mind-transforming slogan, you can't change what you can't reach. With this, we have been able to keep in touch with the masses who are responding positively by joining the campaign against corrupt practices and other societal ills. Consequently, we again solicit federal government's contributions to reach more Nigerians using the print and electronic media. 3. Reforming inmates in Nigerian prisons. Krykov's outreach for prison inmates incarcerated in different parts of the country has been yielding positive results. The major hindrance encountered in this work is denial of access to police cells. This is in spite of several requests made to previous and present Inspectors General of Police. Federal Government's directive along the lines of gaining access to these places of confinement that have now become torture chambers is highly needed. Our application to National Human Rights Commission on this subject remains comatose to date. 4. Although Krykov enjoys the support of the Nigeria Police Force Headquarters, yet members of the Foundation face various threats as they work within different states in the country. This propelled Krykov 
to write officially to the Inspector General of Police requesting a letter of recognition which can be presented to every level of jurisdiction in the Nigeria Police being another area inflicted with the popular get-rich-quick virus within the society. Several meetings were convened by two previous inspectors general of police and also by the incumbent, who is the most forthcoming and obliging of his colleagues. He is yet to endorse the recommendation of the force headquarters. Fire Commander, please move forward and take over the parade. The man coming, I want everybody to take note, is in charge of all parading grounds in Lagos State. Any parade ground that he failed to send somebody must not parade that day. And those of you who may disobey and parade because you feel your commandant is stronger than him will be dismissed. From today, discipline also enshrined in the system. You do not go to parade without asking your parade commander when you arrive there whether there is a representative from him. Knowing him today is Leftman Colonel Batlome Asomura. Back forward and stand. Next to him, I must let you know that there is a man who is in charge of enlightenment, of telling members what Crisis Control Foundation is all about and what they are expected to do and how they should do it. Anytime anybody gives any lecture without his approval, the person will be removed from the foundation, becomes illegal. Those who are attended will be sanctioned. So whenever you attend any lecture, ask whether he's there. The gentleman in question is Comrade Opera C. Opera. He is in charge of lectures and seminars all over Lagos State. If anybody goes above him, the person will be disciplined accordingly. Please. The next person I want you to know is the man carrying the camera. He is a PRO for the state. He is in charge of going to places to ensure that things are not going wrong. And therefore, he's also entitled to send his representative wherever there will be seminars and wherever there will be parade. In order to checkmate what is happening there, we are now checkmating ourselves, from ourselves to your friends, friends to your neighbors, your neighbors to your family, family to your neighborhood, from neighborhood to your village, to the region, to the whole Nigeria, and to all the world over. And so today you become the symbol of discipline and must be able to hold discipline at your fingertips and your lips as a code of conduct which you are empowered by law to uphold. Where you fail to do so, then you are unsuited. You are no more suitable to be among the civil army against the fight of corruption and all other societal ills. Today, the act of complimenting begins it was not in the system before. If you now see you are a superior officer and you fail to give him compliment, he has right to punish you. That which you've been asking for is today enacted into the law. That you now must give compliments to officers that are above you. And officers above you must also respond and must also first show living example by first of all behaving more better than you so that you will not also have cause to look down on him. So the responsibility also lies more on the senior officers to conduct themselves appropriately as expected of them. With the power invested on me by the Corporate Affairs Commission, the certificate from ICPC, the letter of recognition from the Senate President, from the Minister for Police Affairs, 
from Inspector General of Police, from National Human Rights Commission, the National Health Council, and from the Presidency Public Complaint Commission, I have the honor and the privilege to declare all I've said today as a law. May God be with all of us. Amen. Come on down, please. Thank you. Congratulations to all of you. We require clarity from the federal government on receiving this police recognition as police personnel of lower rank molest, intimidate our people and abuse our rights to serve given the excuse that the police is not aware of Krikov's existence and therefore we are an illegal body even with our certificate of incorporation from the Corporate Affairs Commission ICPC Coalition Certificate and letter from the Ministry for Police Affairs as far as the lower cadres of police personnel are concerned only letters from the Inspector General of Police is regarded as genuine this is the reason we are seeking the support and protection of the federal government and directives from the inspector general of police it is worthy to note that the eradication of corruption which is at the core of all societal ills is no easy fit different cadres of law enforcement and state task forces personnel abuse the right of Nigerians by intimidating and collecting bribe from them. We request the federal government provide special report desks and a unique court that will handle our streamlined control exercise towards enhancing quick dispensation of justice. 
we request that the federal government provides special report desks and a unique court that will handle our streamlined control exercise towards enhancing quick dispensation of justice. With this in place, the struggle against corruption and other societal ills will record higher levels of success, which will be an added plus for Dr. Goodluck Abele Azikwe Jonathan's administration. Have a handshake. Don't you say being with your commission? Why is it your commission? Have a certificate and a handshake. Fun the Buru, your commission. Have a handshake. Why is it can't be to prove your commission? Have a handshake. Should be so donor, your commission. Have a handshake. Lionus, your commission. Have a handshake. Okay. Ono, have a commission. Have a handshake. Move to our commission. Have a handshake. Have a handshake. Have a handshake. Go. She goes to Solomon. Have a handshake. Go. You, what's your name? Go for a move. Have a handshake. Okay. Please, may I use this ample opportunity to welcome a partner in progress? I want to announce the arrival of the state commandant, the Lagos State State Commandant. He is Brigadier Uche. Waka, please, on your feet. Two, one award for him. Another award for him. Another award for him. The Habia is reading crisis control, lion are involved. Therefore, you must use this belt. If you are using any other belt that is not this belt, you are committing crime. The foundation will not help you if you are, I mean, dragging yourself into mud. After one month, please, if you are using belt that it's not this belt, our guests, you are welcome. But please, I want to announce the arrival of Mr. Wale. He is the external affairs secretary. You are welcome, sir. Put your hands together for him. He said he has a comment, please. I give him audience, please. Give him audience. Crack off. Lion. Lion. Crack off. Lion. This is a body that has come to stay. Nothing shall bring it down from the pinnacle. With God on our side, we shall strive with all the strength in our heart to sustain the temple in fighting corruption in this country. And we will have to join hands with the Commandant General, who is the president of the body, is the founder, is the major financier, working 24 hours of every day and at the national level. He has able lieutenants to enable you to experience the joy of existence, teaching you how to live transparently, honestly, with all the God-given talents that you have. I wish you well and congratulate you. We have told you last time that if you are interested in sewing, you identify yourself. If you are interested in making soap, you identify yourself. If you're interested in painting, you identify yourself. If you're interested in being a security man or a guard, please, we are registered with SSPN, Society Security Practitioners of Nigeria. Therefore, if you want to be a security man, that you can be posted anywhere in Nigeria, please, you identify, so that if you get contract, to post you like we do people. So that you don't say crisis control is only about coming, coming, and are not benefiting. There are a lot of things to benefit 
It is worthy to note that the eradication of corruption, which is at the core of all societal ills, is no easy fit. Different cadres of law enforcement and state task forces personnel abuse the right of Nigerians by intimidating and collecting bribe from them. These corrupt practices can be observed in broad daylight if one takes a drive or walk along the highways, roads and streets en route to the Immigration and Customs Service offices or one visits some of the offices within government ministries and parastatals. These sins are horrifying for a foreigner or any civilized person. This open show of corrupt practices can be stopped with the help of government authorized, qualified and recommended NGOs like us who will work with the federal and state governments to put the situation under check. To do this peacefully, we have already trained some Nigerians, while others are undergoing training and recruitment is in progress. We request the federal government provide special report desks and a unique court that will handle our streamlined control exercise towards enhancing quick dispensation of justice. We request that the federal government provides special report desks and a unique court that will handle our streamlined control exercise towards enhancing quick dispensation of justice. With this in place, the struggle against corruption and other societal ills will record higher levels of success, which will be an added plus for Dr. Goodluck Abele Azikwe Jonathan's administration.